Ju Ajero, Nigeria Labour Congress President, in an interview with Arise Television, while speaking about electricity tariffs, indicated that tariffs on electricity will only be adjusted, but not a single watt will be added. During the interview, Ajero said, you can't really understand the situation now. This is a situation that was foretold in 2012. I told Nigerians that they will speak last about the level of privatization. I think they are about to speak, but we are not yet. We are not yet there. A screenshot of Joe Ajero from a video clip released by Arise TV on the official X handle. He questioned the Minister of Power, saying that the most pertinent question is the way the Minister of Power is arguing about the cost reflective tariff. You will ask him what he has done to deserve the cost reflective tariff and what happened to the service reflective tariff. Which cost are you charging? Is it the cost of the salary of the chief executives in the industry that you are demanding or their luxurious appetite? In a place where you don't have energy availability, you can't talk about availability, affordability, when there is no availability and accessibility. Statistically, he pointed out that from 2007 up to date, there have been single, there have been seven to eight tariff increases. And that was what I told Nigerians. These guys will not add one watt. They will only be adjusting tariffs. Before that added, ask them how many transformers they have replaced to deserve what they are guessing. Ask the present government what their energy policy is because the minister is talking about cost. The Jonathan government led us into privatization. Where are we now? Are we still pursuing that privatization agenda? And where has it led us? Okay. <laughs> justification, justification, justification. Yeah. Mm, the Nigeria state, the more you look, the less you see. <laughs> when I heard somebody, I, I saw a video yesterday, somebody was saying, ah, Nigeria is the most sister country where people are so happy. I said, people are just, they don't have choice. Anyhow, anywhere, anything that comes, that's it. You know, when you don't have the power to do some things, you begin to like, you know, if I cannot beat them, I join them. What will I do? What will I do? And that is why you see that uh, there are many religious houses. People just go there to just get some sort of hope. Because if you begin to think about this whole thing in Nigeria, honestly, uh, 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 it's not a good thing. Anyway, it's not a good thing at all. You just have to adjust. So suffering and smiling. So when the person was saying, I was just like, what? No, what are you trying to say? Well, anybody where this government no <laughs> buy, you know, go buy again, no? It's as if Nigerians have been punished for not voting this government in power. Whatever is the cause or case, cloud will definitely shift for sun to shine on this country one day. Hmm. You have said it all. We are in for real trouble as far as Nigeria government is concerned. And Tinibu will come and be telling you, I know your pain. Uh, I'm taking it for granted. All those uh, let the poor Brit, all those jargons and all of that. So the ones that people are in, they are celebrating the the appreciation of a uh, naira against dollar, and people are saying it's not reflecting in any way, and they are bragging about it, and they are telling Omokri to do that job, buy Nigeria, grow Nigeria. What has Nigeria produced that we are buying in the first place? Where is the production? It's unfortunate, unfortunate. In actual sense, Nigerians didn't even want this government. We were privy to their antecedents, but ethnicity, hatred, ignorance, and rigging put them in power. You speak well. Ajero, stop troubling yourself. Let Nigerians continue to sit down. They look. They love the darkness they are paying for. All the Tinubu policies are targeted against the poor. Imagine the Minister of Power who keep flying from one place to the other, wasting public funds, mocking Nigerians that they will just leave their freezers and AC on. There's no Difference between Tinubu and Buhari, both of them hate the poor. <laughs> Tinubu say you continue now, so that is exactly what we are saying. It's just, it's just so terrible.
Pashala boosted in 2014 that a serious government will generate constant electricity in six months and that's and that will they will make dollar equal to naira. Fashala saved eight years in Buhari cabinet and there's nothing you can remember him with. Today the chief propagandist and ethnic mafia is in this saddle. What you hear is increase this, increase that. These people are not even gonna change anything. Believe it. Welcome to Tinubu government. We are in Genesis about moving to Exodus. We will never see anything. We just did start. See, today Nigerians are suffering on two that ship uh, from removal of first subsidy. Now is the turn of light. Very soon it will remove subsidy from walking or marching on the ground. And they are telling you that uh, there is still going to be further increments in this uh, electricity tariff. So uh, everybody should just wait, wait, wait and see that to happen.